Hello, this is Andrew from the F-Mute, and uh, I was going to clean my horn today and thought I would share a really cheap, easy, uh, pretty quick way to clean a horn without um, having to worry about any sort of acid bath or ultrasonic. Um, while a deep clean like that is fantastic, they're, they're pretty expensive and something you don't want to do too much. Uh, I play a Schmid, and because of the way the designs of the valves... Uh, it's not a good idea to pop the rotors very often, so this is a good way to get a lot of that gunk out without um, being too kind of invasive or uh, rough on the instrument. So let's get started with a um, cleaning the valve slide. I think that's usually the first thing that I do, just to kind of help things out. Um, one thing that's really good is this uh, Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Make sure you get the kind that's bleach free but uh, this is a great little mild acid solution that you can use and uh, a really good way to do it is put a little water in there get a little of this in there and it'll start to set up pretty good you can just give it a good shake and then just dump it on out uh, a lot of that nasty gunk and green kind of corrosion from copper and all that stuff just uh, washes out pretty easily um, and then you can find just cheap brushes like this at the grocery store. Uh, you don't have to worry about doing a snake on the inside of all this, but uh, sometimes just a little bit of a brush like this really helps, especially in the parts right here. And a real important part about, especially with the acid in uh, this solution, is to try to make sure that it is all washed all the way out. So once you know that everything is rinsing totally clear, and you're kind of coming in like that, you can get the most wonderful thing in the world. This Dawn dish soap is, uh, get the kind with a penguin or a bird or a duck on it. Um, it's really gentle, that's why they use it on wildlife, but this is a really good degreaser. So after you do the acid, just get this all over here, and this is a great way to get rid of the old slide grease. Um, one of the reasons why horn valves get so gunky sometimes is we put a lot of slide grease on here and in the process of pushing this inside the horn we're just pushing old slide grease into the rotor. So we want to get as much of that old slide grease off as possible and kind of the same thing we had done before just make sure to rinse it all the way out so we don't get any, um, any soap just kind of hanging out. Um, the only thing we want on the inside of our horn is valve oil with that. And um, with some of the newer, like Hetman's lubricants and stuff like that, which, which work really good, um, there's always going to be a little bit of slide grease kind of left over. It'll be a little bit tacky to the touch, but it's really not, not that big of a deal. I think the most important part is to make sure that everything is rinsed, um, just rinsed all the way out and nice and clean. Alright, moving on to uh, the next step is we can actually get to the horn itself. Um, one thing, you know, make sure to take your valve caps off. And uh, it's actually pretty clean right now, but you can notice with, uh, with a lot of stuff, you can get a lot of corrosion that builds up on the, on the tops of these right here. And uh, kind of the same thing that we had done before, but just on a much smaller scale. Let's take some of this uh, toilet bowl cleaner. You can put a, a little of it on a, on a Q-tip get it kind of wet and use this right here to um, just apply a, a real mild solution of, um, of this cleaner to the tops of these and, and sometimes it can get real corroded around here and you can use this just to, to clean it up um, again this is a pretty mild mild cleaning agent but it, it does work really well against the corrosion don't worry about having it you know super sterile and clean but it is a good idea to try to get this as um, you know, you just don't want anything like that inhibiting the, the movement of, uh, of the rotors. And also while you're doing that is you can take, um, you know, the back part of your, uh, your valve cap and do, um, you know, a, a very similar process there where you just kind of, you know, get some water in here and run that around. And especially on the insides of these threads, uh, I play a, you know, again, I play a Schmid and these things are a pain in the butt to thread on. Uh, so keeping these threads nice and clean just makes your life uh, much easier when you're um, when you're doing some oiling 
for that kind of stuff. But that makes things uh, pretty easy with a, a Q-tip and some of the toilet bowl cleaner. Okay, so now we're going to get to clean the uh, the body of the horn. I've already started uh, a little bit. But uh, what we want to do is to try to put as much Dawn dish soap uh, down inside the valves just to get uh, get these rotors moving pretty good. So we just take our, uh, our soap right here and just uh, a, a little bit in, in each of these slides, but uh, definitely don't be don't be stingy. Uh, and you know they'll get real sluggish and just kind of all all nasty with all the soap and stuff in there. But the point is we're um, we're just going to try to keep flushing this horn out until everything runs clear. And uh, in the process of that, um, anything that the dawn has dissolved, we just want to wash out. So um, this is when it's a it's really nice to have uh, a little kitchen thing like this, so you're not like banging your horn up against the the sides or anything like that. And um, also cleaning your horn in the bathtub if you have one of the shower, you know, obviously much larger than this, but uh, one of the shower deals like that works works pretty well for that too. But uh, we want to just take uh, take some water and kind of fill up each of these valve slides like that. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a lot of suds that kind of build up all the way through here. And as you wiggle the valves, it'll kind of open and close them, and this water will drop. But it'll keep it in the down position like this, and it'll just kind of stay stay that way. Um, if you have a horn that's really, really sluggish rotor-wise, uh, kind of a, a good little trick that you can do is actually take... The, uh, the stoppers out that causes it, it'll cause the valve to rotate further than it normally does and sometimes that can really break loose a lot of gunk that's uh, that's all built up there just don't you know slam the rotors too hard um, if, if you have your stoppers out uh, you don't want to don't want to ding up anything but um, just doing this for probably the next 10 or 15 minutes of just filling it up with water dumping it out you know filling it up with water then dumping it out going back and forth like that until everything runs clear I forgot one uh, one quick tip for trying to rinse out a lot of the stuff that might maybe make it a little easier is to actually fill up this part with water over here you don't want to ding up your horn uh, down in the sink or whatever. But when you fill this up, actually turn it counterclockwise, kind of the opposite way you would turn it to uh, to get spit out of your horn. But in doing this and using the valves, it actually um, kind of builds up water pressure behind them. And then when you release the valve, it just kind of shoots everything out this way. And kind of you know the whole point of this cleaning is to try to get as much gunk from the valve out as possible and so uh, just making sure to fill it up from here and then turn the horn counterclockwise then you can uh, work the valve to try to get as much um, much gunk and you know everything that the soap dissolves just push it away from the rotors as much as possible. Another quick uh, kind of miscellaneous cleaning thing is to actually clean out the bell ring on the inside of that and you can do this in the the very same way that you did um, you know cleaning out the valve caps and that's taking some of this toilet bowl cleaner putting it on a q-tip and then running this back over here and just kind of run it over on, on the inside let it sit for for a couple seconds and then just rinse it out all right now that all the soap is gone I just kind of leave the horn out and um, in all of its pieces and just let it air dry for an hour or so before we uh, we oil it back up and grease the slides and uh, get it playing again. Alright so now that the horn is dry it's time to uh, oil it up you know just kind of the first initial oiling. Uh, I really like this uh, Hetman's light rotor this is kind of nice it comes in a big big dropper. I, I leave this one home and keep the small bottle in my case but um, one thing that I like to do is just to um, get a big thing of it like this and just in every one of these I just put a, a drop or two of oil it's not you know that big of a deal but because we used all the the Dawn degreaser uh, the horn is basically just totally void of all oil and um, oil in addition to being a lubricant is also a great rust preventative and so it's always a good idea to have uh, ample oil on the inside of your horn and then uh, in addition to that I also like to put a drop or two in, uh, in the lead pipe that's probably where you're gonna get most of your corrosion anyway and you know obviously not a not an oiling thing in terms of speed but it's usually a good idea to put a drop or two in here just to keep uh, keep the corrosion down on the inside of your lead pipe so that is um, 
you know, to try to get some oil down in here. And then also just a, a drop or two on the top of each one of these uh, valve caps. And then also uh, down over here where the linkages come together, just a drop right there. And your horn is all oiled up and ready to go. All right, now that the horn is all oiled up, it is time for slide grease. Um, this is also a Hetman's product. It's the slide gel. Uh, it comes in a nice syringe, which uh, might you know might not want to uh, put this in your airport bag. Uh, <laughs> might get some funny looks from it there, but uh, it is kind of nice that it, it's it's a much cleaner way to to put slide grease on all your slides. Um, one thing that, that I, I do think is really important to know is when using slide grease, if you use a synthetic valve oil, use a synthetic slide grease. If you use conventional valve oil, then use conventional. Uh, for, for whatever reason, if you use a synthetic with a conventional, it just gums up your valves like crazy. Um, it'll be fine for a little while, but then it just makes it to where they'll, they'll actually just seize up after a while, which is uh, no good. Um, not that you uh, you have to use Hetman's, but I, I do like knowing that um, when you buy two things of the same product that they, they play nicely together and you don't have to worry about anything going on nasty on the inside of your horn. Uh, and just, you know, for this, this is just um, a, a really, really convenient way to put uh, a couple drops of this on here. And, um, and th this is a pretty thick, pretty thick slide gel, and so just a little bit goes a, uh, a long way. All right, now we have the uh, the horn back together. Everything is uh, you, know, you got valve oil down on the rotors, and you got slide grease on uh, on all the slides. Uh, never a bad idea to sit down with a tuner for a little while and uh, just double check exactly where where these uh, where these slides are positioned. Um, you know, sometimes uh, if a horn's pretty dirty, you'll notice a pretty pretty substantial difference in where notes slot. So uh, probably probably not not a good idea to do this. You know, an hour right before a big concert, but uh, just part of your kind of monthly maintenance routine. Um, and I think that'll uh, that'll make a big difference in the life of your horn and uh, the playability. I, uh, I hope this helped you guys out, and um, hopefully we'll have some more videos to come.